Welcome to the another video from Simple Networking. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Windows Defender. We are going to cover three topics. This is like three in one video. So please watch the video fully. We will get the options clearly. The first one is like we need antivirus in Windows. The answer is yes, because we need to protect the laptop or system from the antivirus or malware, right? So we need antivirus is necessary. So we can use that for the antivirus or the default of antivirus. Windows Security or Defender is the built one to the Windows. This is like provided by the Microsoft and this antivirus is includes program called Microsoft Defender antivirus. And if you install that part of antivirus, this defender will be turned off automatically. If you're not having any antivirus, then the default antivirus will be turned on back automatically. So coming to the second topic, how to uh, remove or use to how to clear the antivirus from your laptop or how to product the system. So the options are simple. Uh, we can go to here, just click this Windows security options or we can go to search type windows security okay so we will get this options so now we are getting yellow right so i'm just giving uh, i'm just going to explain one more topics like if we have three um, icons one is like green yellow red now we have seen yellow so if it is it is in green means we don't have any recommend that there are no any recommended action our system is good there is no issue in our system okay yellow in the sense like we need any uh, the our system is safety however recommendation action is required which why i'm getting my laptop as yellow is like quick, quick scan we need to done like infrequently but the quick scan is not happen hence the yellow yellow is yellow is appearing in my laptop if red do, red means like if any virus is affected in my system then we will get that yellow or red options so coming to this one how to scan the uh, system okay we have go to this option click virus and threats protection click scan options so once click options we have four options one is like quick scan full scan custom custom scan microsoft defender offline scan so we'll see one by one quick scan is here like uh, choosing the file which is uh, commonly found okay so this is will take hardly if 10 to 15 minutes to run the file full scan is like entire system like if you have three dives then full system end to end it will be scanned by full scan customized scan in the sense like if you have any any specific folder we want to scan or any if you connected any pen drive or hard disk that we wants to scan it then we can use customized scan microsoft Dis De defender scan is a, like a deep scan before wants to load to the cache specifically for the sticker malware we want to clear we can choose this option so how to scan the customized scan like specific file which is up here which is present in your drive and you want to scan so right click this file which you want to scan once you right click click scan with the microsoft defender so what happened that specific file will be scanned by microsoft defender coming to the uh, that one how to disable and enable uh, defender or windows 10 so that is uh, very simple okay same way we can go into the windows defender windows security options once we are into this click virus and uh, threat production then click uh, this one virus and uh, threat production settings click manage settings once click the manage getting real-time production is uh, turn off right so I will just explain something, uh, something if you need to stop the uh, running real time production while real time production is off, okay, the file you open and download, uh, the won't be scanned from the um, threads or malware. However, real time production will um, turn on automatically again uh, once you restart the PC. Uh, let's say if you are turning off right, so after restart, uh, this will be turned on again. If you want to uh, turn off the Windows uh, Defender permanently, we have to disable from um, this one registry. So that I will explain quickly. Okay, go to search, type reg. Okay, so if you type reg, re editor, registry editor will come. Just click open. Okay, so once you click open, uh, go to local machine okay so once you scroll to the local machine click software 
so once you click the software click policies once you click policy click Microsoft okay so once you click Microsoft uh, click Windows Defender okay there once you click the Windows Defender right click click new option click devalue then just the uh, you we need to write the name as real-time production so in this way real-time production in this way we need to uh, write it okay so once it write it just click once you click just double click by default the value is zero we zero means it is enabled so we need to disable the antivirus right so the reason the value should be one once you select the value one click ok after restart also this windows uh, virus and threat production real-time production will not be turned on automatically okay in case in future if you want to turn on back the options are very simple go to the same option as we said okay uh, click real-time production just click delete okay once you delete it go back to here and just turn on then with real-time windows production will be turned on automatically if you want to roll back after something okay say i have explained how to disable and enable the real-time production permanently and temporarily i will update the registry value path into the description for better understanding please like the video and subscribe our youtube channel for more video if you have any question please write it into the comments we'll meet you in the next video bye